makeup tutorial on this look here. It is inspired from Shanexo's new video called the Opal Iridescent Makeup Tutorial, I believe. I was just so inspired by how beautiful that look came out and I just wanted to sort of recreate my own sort of take on it. So it's kind of similar, but it's not the same thing at all. I did still use completely different products and I did things in a different way. Um, but I just thought I'd mention that it was inspired by her. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to give it a like if you do and let's get started on the makeup. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my skin using the Bare Minerals Prime Time and then I'm going in with foundation. I'm taking two shades of the Cogendo Aqua Foundation and I'm just using a Wet n Wild buffing brush just to stipple that onto my skin and then buff it in circular motions. And then for some cream contouring, I'm taking the Model Co Contour Stick and I'm just outlining underneath my cheekbones and around my hairline and um, underneath my jaw. And I'm just going to blend that out using an EXO Beauty Angled Kabuki Brush. And this just adds a nice natural kind of contour to the skin. Then I'm moving on to the eyes, so I'm priming them using my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette and I'm first taking this kind of brownie bone shade, it's pretty light and I'm just using this as a transition shade. And then I'm going in with this sort of bone shade again, but this one's more cool toned, it has a bit of a purple undertone to it. I'm just doing the same thing because I'm going in with cooler colours later so I just wanted to make sure I had a cool tone colour in the crease. And then I'm taking this cool tone brown shade and focusing this right in the crease area. Um, and I really like how this came out. I just really focused it right in that crease and didn't bring it down too far. And then I took this beautiful kind of greeny silver colour and I just started packing this on the outer third of the eyelid um, just with a Real Techniques shadow brush and then I took the Cool Tone purple shade and just did the same thing but on the inner corner and I just took my time and blended those two colours together just so that they looked nice and seamless and went back and forth with adding more colour of each and that kind of thing and then just making sure I blended the edges. And then to highlight my brow bone, I just took the lightest shade in the palette, it's kind of a shimmery shade, and I just put that underneath my brows. And then for eyeliner, I'm taking the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Liner in black, and I'm just tight lining, and then taking that along my upper lash line, just messily, and then I'm gonna use my finger to smudge it out and give it a nice smoky effect. And then I'm just going to go in and curl my lashes and apply some mascara. So I'm using my favourite Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And then the lashes I'm using today are the EXO Beauty Gold Digger Lashes. These are so beautiful. So I just trimmed them to size and applied them to my eyes. Back onto the face, I'm taking my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay and I'm just applying this underneath the eyes and down the centre of the face to highlight and conceal all of those areas. And then using an EXO Beauty um, Tapered Face Brush, sorry guys, I'm so sick if you couldn't tell from my voice, my brain does not want to work. And then I just took my foundation brush and made sure that the concealer and the foundation blended together seamlessly. And then to conceal a couple of blemishes, I took my MAC palette and I just used the shade NC20 and just applied that with my finger to any of my blemishes. And then going in with my MAC powder, this one is in Light Plus, it's the MSF Natural. I just took a Morphe G8 brush to set the concealed areas of my face and underneath where I'm going to contour. And then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce Delice, I think, and an EXO Beauty Angled Bronzer Brush and just applying that to all of those areas. And this just helps set the cream contour in place and bronze up the skin. 
Then going into my Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette, I'm taking Pample Mousse Blush, which is the coolest name and the prettiest colour. And it is so, 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 so pigmented. Like, look at that. Oh my god. So I just blended it out with my powder brush just to make sure it wasn't too harsh. And then I'm highlighting using Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop from the same palette on a Real Techniques setting brush just on all the normal areas that I like to highlight and these two mixed together look absolutely beautiful. Moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking the first colour that we used and I'm just applying this right underneath the lower lash line just to help smoke out the colours I'm applying. And then going in with the Cool Tone Dark Brown, I'm doing the same thing, just really buffing that into the lower lash line and bringing it into the inner corner. And then I'm taking the Greeny Silver Shade, just doing the same thing, I'm applying it to the outer third of the lower lash line and then I'm going in with the Purple Shade, just on my finger I'm applying this to the inner third of the lower lash line. And to brighten up the under eyes a bit more, I used my Bare Minerals Real Well Rested Concealer Powder just to give my eyes a nice brightened look. And then I highlighted the inner corners using the same highlighting shades from the Becca palette. And then I just took my Gimme Brow from Benefit just to set my eyebrows in place and give them a nice sort of full effect. And then on the waterline, I took this ColourPop eyeliner. I forget the name of it, but I'll have it listed down below. I just took this lilac y purple shade. It is so beautiful and it tied the look together, I feel like. And then I'm applying some lower lash mascara and moving on to the lips. I'm first lining my lips using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Westie. It's this beautiful pink shade, and I'm going to fill them in using MAC Cream Cup lipstick. So just applying that all over the lips and then the gloss I'm topping them off with is Bourjois. Um, it's just called Brun. So after that the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. So today's video is going to be a review and a demo on the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. So I believe it's pronounced Cogendo, that's the way I say it anyway.